Hi everyone. Well, if you made it through the last video, I am so impressed because it's starting to become a labour of love this one. Final bit, the gluing in. The idea is to put glue all the way down there and to place it in here with glue and lining it up. So you can see where I've scored it for the size of my spine. Um, and so I know I have got guide marks now which will I should be able to line up top and bottom oh and I've also marked the inside of my covers so I know which one's the front and which one's the back as I said this has started to become a labour of love it took me Yesterday, it took me um, nearly 15 hours to make, edit, and then eventually we got to upload the video. My life, it's been painful. But if you've enjoyed it or you've got something out of it, then I'm, I'm impressed. And I'm really pleased because it makes it worthwhile. Oops, a bit of glue on there. Right. Now for the fun bit, the lining up. So, bear with me. I have actually cheated a little and made a mark at the bottom so I can see where it needs to go. And then pull it over. And then if I lift these up, it should sit in the middle. There we are, and that is as easy as it gets. In fact, that's probably been the easiest part of assembling this journal. Now, I leave this to set because of the glue that I've used. If you've used like an instant... I like this glue because it allows me a bit of wiggle room. A bit of room, a bit of time, you know, a few moments just to go, oh, that's not right. Now, I leave... Those are... The observant ones amongst you, right. I leave this normally just to set because my glue is an instant. If you're using other glues which grab quicker, then brilliant. The observant amongst you will have noticed that the colour the color has changed on the cover. Yep. If I explain that there was an incident between my cat Arthur and my coffee cup it brings a whole new meaning to the word coffee stained now I like the grunge look as much as anybody else but it's this was a bit too OTT right I'm gonna give this chance to cure and then I will be back in a moment and show you the next bit right next step is to fold obviously is to glue these bits down now that's the reason for making the second score line for me so I've got a bit of give already so it goes over my quarter inch gusset that I've got on the outside of the book if I show you what I mean on this book my gusset that goes down there so I've got the movement to be able to open and to close the book so it will conform to the hinge it will conform to what you've you've put down so I put right now the boring bit and then that folds over I find it useful to keep it at a bit of an angle it's personal choice, personal preference. Find the only reason I found this is because I've I've had a play at them, and I really am a great believer in um, in just playing. And then once that sticks, it's just doing exactly the same on the opposite side. Right back in. 
that is now stuck, hopefully. So the reason for doing it at a bit of an angle is if you, when you bend it back, the score lines should give you just some extra bit of flexibility to close it. It will conform to the shape of whatever hinge you've put in or indeed if you haven't put a hinge in you know if you're just making a soft cover oh yeah there you go that's the cover of well the beginnings of the cover and that's that's how it's done or that's how I do it I'm not saying I've already glued on the sari silk for the fastening and then the stage after that is to glue that bit on. That's my inside cover, which covers up obviously any mistakes that I may have made. And I've got a little envelope to finish it off. And I think that that is it for the construction of this book. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. It has become a real labour of love. But the comments I've received have been wonderful. So I am really, really pleased that I actually did it. So tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have finished with all the uh, bits, the ephemera that I'm going to put inside. And I will put a flip through up on YouTube. And uh, as my giveaway, what started off as a 200 giveaway has now become a 300 giveaway. So thank you to everybody that's subscribed. You've made my day. You really have. And it, yeah, makes it worthwhile carrying on making these. So thank you very much. And I will see you tomorrow with a completed flip through.